what we're going to do today is adjust the vacuum relief valve in order to lower the, the vacuum level that it can reach. Uh, at different altitudes, these pumps, these larger pumps, can get too hot because they are trying to, to reach a vacuum level that uh, is not, that they're not capable of. So what we're going to do, we're going to open this up get to the vacuum relief valve and since we are here at 4300 feet above sea level for every thousand feet of elevation we need to lower the vacuum level one inch right now this pump is reading about 23 inches of, of mercury so we're going to lower it four inches down to about 19 we will be taking this manifold, this right side manifold off. Within it is the vacuum relief valve. It's an adjustment spring with two nuts. So we'll go ahead and get started with that. We've revealed the vacuum relief valve. Now it's, it's loose on its base here. So we need to secure this piece back to the pump in order to do a, a proper adjustment. Instead of taking this piece on and off as we adjust it, testing the pump each time, what we've done is gotten two, two bolts the same size but not the same length as these ones in order to secure this back down to the pump. So we'll, we're gonna put two on here on each corner and tighten those down so this portion is secured. And I've got two flat washers here just to hold this this up so I don't have to tighten the, the bolt all the way down through this one. Okay, now we're secure there. Now we will turn the vacuum pump on and get our gauge ready. Turn it on and set it to zero, and then attach it to the inlet of the pump. We're going to use this rubber stopper with a hole in it. We can now see that the vacuum pump is running at 23 inches, which we will adjust down. There are two set screws on this relief valve. Using two wrenches, we're going to adjust those and loosen that spring. Keep an eye on the gauge as you're adjusting, and you can see it lower. With minor adjustments, you will reach your desired vacuum level. At this point, finish the process by retightening the set screws on the vacuum relief valve. We are now going to remove the vacuum gauge and shut the pump down and prepare for reassembly. Once reassembled, your pump is ready to go and will be good for operating at normal conditions. Thank you for watching.